from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture, and indeed more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions. In this round one game, entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria. Fatai Bilu, fourth year, biochemistry, Omoikiti. Samson Fabwe, fourth year, architecture, Ingochaku. Chiedu Mpoka, fourth year, electrical engineering, Akufuigo. And from my left is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Cape Coast, Ghana. Bright Janade, fourth year, biotechnology, Adakula Hunda. Mubarak Mohamed Lansa, fourth year, mathematics and statistics, Tolong. Michael Akabli, second year, accounting, Nofokuru. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First, in center position, for Cape Coast University, Ghana, is bright. Cape Coast, capital city of the central region of Ghana. Yes. Tell us more. Um, Cape Coast in Ghana is considered as the citadel of education. And it's got the highest number of basic schools and secondary schools, as well as the first secondary school, the fancy film school, which is the alma mater of the former uh, UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. And then, more so, I'm so proud that I belong to University of Cape Coast, which is the University of Choice in Ghana. We'll be hearing more. Keep on advertising. <laughs> From the Federal University of Technology, Akure, we have Fatai. We've been doing a round of states in Nigeria. Yes. We could do three more with you three gentlemen. Fatai, yes. a Nigerian state. Yeah, I come from Ekiti which is in the southwestern part of Nigeria. The Ekiti name actually comes from a Yoruba word, Okiti, which means rocks, because rocks are distributed all over the states. The motto of the state is the fountain of knowledge, and it's, it's a state where virtually every family has a professor, because we are, the, we are the state that really values education the most in Nigeria. Well, the, your team will value you for choosing a good category. Yeah. Have a look at our first four categories, and they are... Island nations, salt, the human body, words with K. The human body. Human body it is. By mass, about two thirds of the body is composed of which chemical element? F-U-T-A? Calcium. No, I'm turning it over to the University of Cape Coast. Oxygen. Yes, for 20 bonus points, five points apiece. 
by mass, which other four chemical elements are the largest components of the human body? Hydrogen. Your answer, please. Oxygen. Hydrogen. No. Hydrogen. Calcium. Calcium. Mm -hmm. Nitrogen. 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 Yes, for 15 points. The other one should have been carbon. Right? Choice of category, please. Salt. Salt it is. In 1930, who defied a British tax in India by leading a salt march to Dandi to illegally make sea salt? F-U-T-A. Mahatma Gandhi. Yes. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece, one potassium nitrate, an ingredient in the first gunpowder, is better known as which salt? Salt pepper. That is correct. And two, in which East Asian nation was gunpowder invented? China. China. China is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 30 against Cape Coast 25. Patai, choice of category, please. The human body. The human body it is. Which body parts are mostly made of dentine and enamel? F-U-T-A. The teeth. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, our 12 backmost teeth are known by which collective name? The bicuspids. No, molars. molars. And two, the furthest back are popularly known by which term for scholarly knowledge? Wisdom tooth. That is correct for 10 points bringing your total to 50 against Cape Coast 25. Patai, choice of category, please. The human body. The human body it is. Which sensory organ can be affected by astigmatism or glaucoma? F-U-T-A. The eye. That is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. Which internal organ is subject to, one, hepatitis? The liver. Yes. Two, nephritis? The kidney. Yes, for 20 points, bringing your total to 80 against Cape Coast 25. Patai, choice of category, please. The human body. The human body it is. Red and yellow types of which spongy tissue are found within many large bones? Cape Coast? Marrow. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Cancer of the blood or bone marrow resulting in abnormal production of white blood cells is known by which L name? Leukemia. Is correct for 20 points. End of round one. The University of Cape Coast, Ghana, is creeping up slowly with 55 points against FUTA's 80. Now, whenever a team makes its first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge, we think our viewers right across the continent should find out something about its university. So here now is a profile of the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria. The Federal University of Technology in Akure, Nigeria, commonly known as FUTA, was established in 1981. I like the, the vibrant academic nature of the school. It's very good when it comes to academics. It's needed for academic excellence. And right now, it's the best school of technology in Nigeria. FUTA aims to be the best university of technology in the world and has six faculties, agriculture and agricultural technology, environmental technology, earth and mineral sciences, engineering technology, management technology, and sciences. The Federal University of Technology is the only institution that offers full degree programs in mining engineering and meteorology in Nigeria. In fact, it's the only university that offers full degree programs in meteorology in West Africa. So Puta provided the right frame of the right opportunity, the right platform for me to achieve that. Scenes from the campus of the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 55 for the University of Cape Coast against 80 for FUTA. We have two new face-off players in central position. Samson from FUTA, another Nigerian state, please. Um... I come from Ondo State, located in the southwestern part of Nigeria, down south, Ekiti State. Ondo State is divided into three regions. We have the Akoko area, where we have a Kari Akoko. And um, in central Ondo State, we have Ondo Ekimogu uh, Kingdom, a very great kingdom. And um, down south, where I come from, in Butaku, where we have um, the Kales and the Lages, who are majorly farmers and fishermen. Brilliant. University of Cape Coast, Mubarak, more about Cape Coast. Okay, you know, football is the passion of most Ghanaians. And it's also it's very interesting to know that football initially began in Ghana in Cape Coast, the first team being Excelsior, which was formed in the early 1900s. 
And many of the great Ghanaian players come from the central region, some coming from Cape Coast, including Michael Asian, John Penso, and others. Gosh, that will please my son to hear. <laughs> right, Mbarek, you have the choice of category. Let's have a look at our four new categories, and they are Empires and Emperors, Hot Topics Africa, Tops and Crops, and World Trade. Empire and Emperors. It is. Which great king of the Franks was crowned emperor by the Pope in Rome in the year 800 AD? F-U-T-A. Charlie Magni. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Which name of the first emperor of ancient Rome did Charlemagne include in his royal title? Holy Roman Emperor. Holy Roman Emperor. No, Augustus. Augustus. Two, that emperor succeeded which Roman dictator murdered in 44 BC? Julius Caesar. That is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 100. Samson, choice of category, please. Empires and emperors. It is. In 1276, Kublai Khan completed the subjugation of the Chinese Sung Dynasty. Which empire north of China did Kublai lead? F-U-T-A. The Mongolian Empire. It's correct. For 20 points, the conquest was completed one year after the arrival of which Venetian merchant who later wrote of his travels? Marco Polo. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 130 against Cape Coast 55. Samson, choice of category, please. Empires and emperors. It is. By which B name do we know the ancient empire that grew from the eastern portion of the Roman Empire? F-U-T-A. Byzantine. Is correct for 20 points, 10 points apiece. One, in 330, the Byzantine capital was renamed after which Christian emperor of Rome? Constantine the Great. That is correct. Two, in 1453, which Muslim O empire captured that city? The Ottoman Turks. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 160. Samson, choice of category, please. The empires and emperors. Empires it is. The empire that owned most of the Americas from the 15th to 19th centuries was ruled from which European country? Cape Coast? Spanish. Yes, Spain. for 20 points. Spanish colonialism followed soon after a 1519 expedition to circle the globe led by which Portuguese explorer? Vasco da Gama. No, the correct answer is Ferdinand Magellan. Mubarak, choice of category, please. Hot Topics Africa. It is. In 2008, natural gas began flowing from which resource-rich nation to the West African gas pipeline? F-U-T-A. Nigeria. Nigeria is correct for 20 points, five points apiece, and a five-point bonus for all three. The West African gas pipeline connects to which three coastal nations west of Nigeria? Togo, Benin, Ghana. Yes, for 20 points, bringing your total to 190 against Cape Coast 65. Samson, choice of category, please. Tops and crops. It is. Which Asian nation is tops in producing peaches, pears, plums, potatoes, tea, and tobacco? Cape Coast? India. No. I'm turning it over to FUTA. China. Yes. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Which African nation is tops in camel meat and camel milk? Morocco. No. The correct answer is Sudan. Two, which northern neighbor is tops in dates and number two in figs? Egypt. It's correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 210. Samson, choice of category, please. Hot Topics Africa. It is. Africa Resources won the 2008 Mine and Money Award for its Wheelchairs for Kids program in which country's Katanga region? F-U-T-A. Democratic Republic of Congo. Yes. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, Africa Resources Canada. is based in Canada. which bilingual North American nation? Canada. Yes. Two, Africa also licenses to mine the Omporokoso Basin of which DRC neighbor? Zambia. Is correct for 20 points. End of round two. The score stands at 65 points for Cape Coast against 240 for the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria. Now, by way of international introduction, let's place the spotlight on the University of Cape Coast, Ghana. The University of Cape Coast, or UCC Ghana, attained the status of a full and independent university with the authority to confer its own degrees, diplomas, and certificates in 1971. 
University of Cape Coast is one of the best universities in Ghana, which offers very good combinations in terms of the programs and also the courses. The University of Cape Coast offers a wide range of undergraduate, postgraduate and international programs. Well, I like the school because it's a very lovely place to be in. It is the only university offering uh, the program Molecular Biology and Biotechnology at the first degree level in Ghana. UCC's vision is to be the university that is strongly positioned with a worldwide aspiration for every faculty, school, department, functional division and individual. Well, it's the only university of choice in Ghana, really. Scenes from the University of Cape Coast, Ghana. Now, this is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners the ministries of education in the competing countries and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 65 for the University of Cape Coast against 240 for the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria. Two new players in center position, Chiedu for FUTA, another Nigerian state. Yeah. Well, I come from Delta State in Nigeria, which is located in the south-southern zone of the country. My state is noted for producing crude oil. We are also noted for our fishing industry and for the export of timber, which is used for construction. That export is also done through the nation's third largest port, which is in my state. Everything is large where you come from. Yeah, it's large. You should come see it sometime. Switching over now to Michael. Yes. More about Cape Coast. Well, the people of Cape Coast celebrate the Faith to Afashe. That is the Faith to Festival. It is based on their belief that the blessing that the gods have for them for a particular year is based on the amount of fish that can be caught within the festival period. So you're going to have a supreme blessing if you choose a category that makes you catch up fast. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are chemical elements, let's go, Russia, the business of journalism, and what's it to be? Michael, choice of category, please. Chemical elements. Chemical elements it is, by definition, what is the smallest possible amount of any chemical element? University of Cape Coast? Atom. It's correct for 20 bonus points, five points apiece, and a five point bonus for all three. One, 12, 16, 32, which is closest to the atomic mass of one? Oxygen. 16. 16. Yes, carbon. 12. 12. Yes, hydrogen. 1. 1. one. Yes, 20 points, bringing your total to 95. Michael, choice of category, please. Chemical elements. Elements it is, water, wind, stone. Around 420 BC, Empedocles identified four classical elements, earth, air, fire, and what? F-U-T-A. Water. Yes, for 20 bonus points. Phlogiston, ether, phosgene, which was the fifth element or quintessence thought to make up the heavens? Ether. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 270. Chair, do choice of category, please. The business of journalism. The business of journalism it is. Which E is a news article that expresses the author's opinion? F-U-T-A. Editorial. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. From which sport were these headlines in 2009? One. Cricket. England spinners turned to Mushtaq. Cricket. Yes. Two, Tennis. Safina sets up Serena showdown. Tennis. Yes, for 20 points, bringing your total to 300. Chair, do choice of category, please. The business of journalism. Business of journalism it is, which C word for a vertical architectural support also names the arrangement of stories on a newspaper page. Cape Coast. Column. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Which P is a collective name for magazines and newspapers printed at regular intervals? Periodical. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 125. Michael, choice of category, please. Chemical elements. Chemical elements it is. In 1911, Marie Curie was awarded the Nobel Prize for discovering elements with which active property? F-U-T-A. Radioactive. That is correct. The flash of lightning means that you have the Zane Super Bonus for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is architecture. Please watch your screen. Which of these famous buildings is, one, the Roman Colosseum? B. B. Yes. Two, the Taj Mahal. A. Yes. Three, the Eiffel Tower. C. 30 points, bringing your total to 340. 
Chair, do choice of category, please. The business of journalism. The business of journalism it is. El País, The Sun, Le Monde, which is the most widely circulated daily newspaper in Spain. F-U-T-A. El País. Is correct. For 10 points apiece, 20 bonus points. One, which UK newspaper's name is that of a protective angel. Guardian. That is correct. Two, the world's largest international news agency was created when Thomson combined with which R firm? Reuters. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 370. Chedu, choice of category, please. The business of journalism. Business of journalism it is. Click Afrique, African print, Mama Africa. Which online news site says it is the ultimate web reference for Africa? F-U-T-A. Click Afrique. Is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. All Africa, Afrol, Amwa. One, which independent web news site is based in Lesotho and Norway? Amwa. No, Afrol. Two, which web-based source is the largest electronic distributor of African news? All Africa. Yes, for 10 points. End of round three. The score stands at 125 for Cape Coast against 390 for the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4 GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2 GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, which multinational peacekeeping force does Nigeria lead? Is it A, Ecomog, B, Sadik, or C, Monas. SMS your answer to 33971. Choose A for Ecomog, B, Sadik, or C, Monas. SMS your answer to 33971. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 125 points for the University of Cape Coast against 390 for the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. The University of Cape Coast, you're behind, so you go first. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are Founding Fathers, Words That End in PT, Rihanna, elements in geography. Founding fathers. Founding fathers it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. From the clues, identify the person who was a founding father of his or her nation. And seconds away. Port Elizabeth, South Africa is in the municipality named after him. Queen Elizabeth. No. Father of Turks who founded the Mon Kemal. Yes. The great Tsar, he moulded Russia into a world power. Peter the Great. Yes. Dining car steward who became Namibia's first it's president. Samuel Juma. Yes. Architect of Merdeka, the first president of Indonesia. Pass. First prime minister, then first president of Tunisia. Habib Bouguiba. Yes. General who became the first president of the USA. George Washington. Yes. Victim of the first African coup d'etat of the 1960s, Togo's first president. Sylvanos Olympio. Yes. A soldier during World War II, he was Senegal's founding Lepo father. Sango. Yes. The Central African Republic's first... David Dapo. Yes. Port Elizabeth, South Africa, is in this municipality named after him. Queen Elizabeth I. No. Architect of Merdeka, the first president of Indonesia. Mohamed Suato. No. 
Port Elizabeth, South Africa is in the... Time's up. You answered eight questions correctly, giving you a total of 400 points in the ultimate challenge and a grand total of 525. Let's see the two that you got wrong. South Africa, Nelson Mandela. Architect of Merdeka, Ahmed Sukhanu. The Federal University of Technology, Akure. At this stage in the game, you have 390 points. You're 135 points behind, and you need three correct answers in the third of the three remaining categories of your choice to be outright winners. Which is it to be? Words that end in PT. Words that end in PT. Gentlemen, do take a deep breath. Which word ending in PT is seconds away? A word to describe a crooked Corrupt. government. Yes. A short passage from a written or musical. Exalt. Yes. To be completely absorbed or intent. Fascinated. Pass. Pass. Have an untied or disheveled okay. appearance. Okay. Yes. Exposed to strong breezes. Pass. Pass. To convert into curve. Yes. Script. Yes. A character written above another as the dot above a nine. Superscript. Yes. Free from obligation or liability. Exempt. Yes. Lacking any interesting characteristics. Pass. A country with a five-letter name. Egypt. Yes. To be completely absorbed or intent. Fascinated. Pass. Exposed to strong breezes. Pass. Pass. Lacking any interesting characteristics. Pass. Pass. To be completely absorbed or intent. Fascinated. Enwrapped. Yes. Enraptured. Exposed to strong breezes. Pass. Lacking Pass. any interesting characteristics. Pass. Exposed. Rats. No. You too answered eight questions correctly, winning 400 points in the ultimate challenge, and with a total final score of 790. The Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria, is the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. Let's take a look at the two that you got wrong. Exposed to breeze, windswept, lacking characteristics, nondescript. The University of Cape Coast. I'm definitely coming to see all those wonderful things that you've described. I've never been to Ghana yet. For the time being, we have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 500 US dollars each, plus $5,000 as an institutional grant for your university. FUTA, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in another round. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zay. In our next game, the Catholic University of East Africa, Kenya, takes on Northrise University, Zambia, in the international inter-university battle of reigns that is the Zane Africa Challenge. Do join us again. From all of us here, it's bye-bye. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs>